Today we'll be reading Dear Basketball by Kobe Bryant. From the moment I started rolling my dad's tube socks and shooting imaginary game-winning shots in the Great Western Forum, I knew one thing was real. I fell in love with you. A love so deep, I gave you all, I gave you my all. And from my mind and body to my spirit and soul. So like always, whenever we are queuing, we always want to highlight the title right here. So the title that we have is Dear Basketball, which in a way is kind of making you think like, oh, is this like a letter? So this is probably a letter to, you know, to basketball from Kobe Bryant. Because remember, he played basketball for a while, and that's one of the things he loves, and that was like, you know, a tribute to something that he loved in life. Okay, so I'm going to read it one more time. From the moment I started rolling my dad's tube socks and shooting imaginary game-winning shots, the Great Western Forum, I knew one thing was real. I fell in love with you. So, right here, whenever he says, you know, he's describing, you know, using emoji or sensory language to describe the tube socks, but he started off with imagine, you know, imaginary shooting versus, um, you know, game-winning shots right there. The greatest. In the greatest Western Forum, I knew one thing was real. So, going from, you know, how he was before to now. Just talk, giving you that imagery of, like, this is where I came from, this is where I started, to his success of how he is now. Okay? I fell in love with you. And what does he mean by you? He's talking about basketball. Really personifying basketball and making basketball into like the person that they are because you can fall in love with the sport, but if you are identifying sport as like a person, then he's making it, he's personifying it right there. A love so deep I gave you my all from my mind and body to my spirit and soul. So right here he's describing like just how much he, you know, how much he gave to his sport. Using a hyperbole, giving a love so deep, I gave you my all, my mind, my body, and my soul. Which, in a way, yes, that's an exaggeration right there where he's exaggerating about how much he loves it and how much he practiced and tried to, um, you know, perf perfect his craft. A six-year-old boy, as a six-year-old boy deeply in love with you, I never saw the end of the tunnel. I only saw myself running out of one. That imagery right here, how he is running, you know, not running, not running it to the end of the tunnel, but just coming out of a tunnel each time. That saying right there, just how in sports they always come out of that whole tunnel and everything, giving you that imagery and just how that always resonated with him. And so I ran. I ran up and down every court and every every loose ball for you. You asked for my hustle. I gave you my heart because it came with so much more. Once again, still personifying hyperboles right here. Just how much he loved his sport, how much he loved basketball. Okay? Using a whole bunch of personification and hyperbole. So personification... Hyperbole. I played through the sweat and hurt, not because challenge ch called me, but because you called me. I did everything for you because that's what you do. When someone makes you feel as alive as you've made me feel. Once again, personification, personifying how basketball is a somebody. How basketball basically panned out his life for him and how he 
it's not that he wanted the challenge, it's because basketball is what made him feel alive. So, basketball made him feel alive. You gave a six-year-old boy his Laker dream, and I'll always love you for it. I can't, but I can't love you obsessively for much longer. This season is all I have left to give. My heart can take the pounding. My mind can handle the grind. But my body knows it's time to say goodbye. So right here where he's talking about the dream that basketball gave him, that six-year-old boy he was, gave him his dream and everything. But unfortunately, where it says, this season, this is all I have left to give, as in, this is it, this is his final play. And how he has to say goodbye. His body is tired. So I'm going to put over here. And personify your body. And let your body know. So put over here. He is going to retire. Okay. And that's okay. I'm ready to let you go. I want you to know now. So we can both savor every moment we have left together. And the good and the bad we have given each other. All that we have. And we both know, no matter what I do next, I'll always be that kid with the rolled up socks, garbage can in the corner, five seconds on the clock, balls in my hand, five, four, three, two, one. Love you always, Kobe. So, right here where he is talking about how he's letting basketball know or letting the sport know that like this isn't the end this isn't you know of everything i'm just gonna go ahead and go for now but i'll always love you so and then right here or he going back to that imagery right here, talking about how he, as a kid, would always play and then counting down and everything that. Okay. So, like, the message here is just like the love for something that you love, like, for either a sport or something that you love to do, it's always going to be there. There's going to be times whenever you have to let go, but that love is always going to be there. And it doesn't even have to be a person. It could be a thing. And then what would you say the purpose is for this poem? It would mainly be, the purpose for it would be just his tribute to basketball itself. And how much he loves it and how he has to retire now. And how he's going to miss this sport completely. Okay? So that would be the author's purpose. Okay? And that is it. Make sure to do your assignment for today after you are done reading. And have a good day.